Okay guys, what we're going to cover here is how to customize local business theme. Uh, make it look just a little bit more prominent. A uh, little bit better looking than the original. If you want to go to that trouble. Okay, now this is an actual client site and I get uh, applications, I get paid for this. Uh, good bucks. So I got to make it look pretty good. Now you'll notice there's little shadows around the boxes here. Okay. That's a little different. Uh, you'll see that I've spiffed up the form here. I gave it different colors and I've made the boxes a little in more enhanced there when you fill them in. Um, also, there's a special plugin for this video. If you don't use that plugin, um, what's going to happen is it'll look okay here on your desktop, but if you look at it on an iPhone, it'll like it'll bend over past the boundary of the iPhone and it'll distort your page so I'm going to show you how to do that as well um, how to customize the look down here pretty well everything we're just gonna make it look better more efficient and you're gonna like it we're gonna use something called CSS hero it is a uh, plugin uh, it'll pretty well do all the work for you. You don't have to know CSS to do it. And that's pretty well what we're going to demo today. Now we're going to log into the local business theme dashboard. And we'll go here. And we're going to download local business theme. Now I've already downloaded it here. So I'm not going to download it again, but just download it into a folder. Okay, and then we're going to go... Oh, before I go there, uh, if you go to this site here, where it says Doc Help, okay, click on that, and it'll take you over here. I'm going to cover one thing that was a little bit missed there. So if you go to Lead Gen Form, uh, they forgot to mention what you put in here, and that's a contact form 7 that you're going to put in there. I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so I'm going to get back to that a little bit later. All right, so that covers these two things here. Now, we're going to go to uh, this empty site. There's no posts or pages or anything in here. This is just a site that I use for demoing stuff or developing stuff. So I'm going to add a new theme. And we're going to click Upload Theme. We're going to choose the file. It's going to be Local Business Theme. And click on it. Click on Install Now. Okay, let's do a live preview first to make sure it works. And yes, it does. So once you know it's working, uh, click Save and Activate. Now I've done this once before and there was a plugin interfering with it and it didn't work. So that's why I say preview it first. And if it doesn't work, disable your plugins, uh, all your plugins first. Okay. So we're going to save and activate. All right, it's activated, it's working good. And I'm just going to show you what I mean here about disabling plugins. Okay, so go to our plugins here, and you can see I've disabled most of them here. This was from other sites that I was working on. So you should really install this on a fresh site and then load the plugins afterwards. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is install the WPBP plugin. You click there and download it. And we'll download it in the same directory just to not be confused as to where it is. And I'm going to go back to my WordPress site. And we're going to upload that. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to where it says plugins and add new. We're going to upload the plugin. Choose file, and there it is. There, we're going to install that, and we're going to activate it. 
Okay, now you can see in the uh, plugins that it's there. And now we have to do is go down, scroll down here on the left hand side of your uh, dashboard and click up WP Backup Plus here. And we're going to enter my email address. And I'm going to click install. Okay, so this gives us the ability to restore or upload and restore any one of the themes or the businesses that we have over here. These done for you sites here. Okay, so you can click here too. Um, and I've done these steps here. Okay. So I'm going to download one of these sites and I think I'm going to pick uh, probably that one. The dent repair seems to be good. Let's save that. And we'll go over here and we're going to upload and restore. I'm going to choose a file and we'll pick this dent repair, click open and restore backup. Okay, now it's going to warn me that I have to uh, use these credentials, so I'm just going to highlight that and then copy. I can remember admin, so let's continue. All right, here we are, and I'm going to just go Control V, and I'm going to paste that in there, and I'm going to log in. Okay, I've got LastPass installed, so I'll just save that. All right, so let's see what our site looks like now. There we go. Okay, so we've got our theme up and running with all our pictures, everything in. So now in the next video, we're going to customize this.